Hi there everybody, it's Housie from slimandstylish.com. Thank you for joining me today. I'm a UK stamping up independent demonstrator and the set that I'm demonstrating today is the Just Because Cling Mount set from the new Occasions catalogue. You may have missed this set because it's hidden. It is right on the very back page, just down there. And it is a set that it tells you at the top is just available for hosts. Okay. The way host sets work, you need to pay attention to this table just here. So during celebration, if you spend £150, that's not just you, that could be a party cumulative of you, you get 10% worth that, so you get £15 worth of host pounds to spend. Okay, And then that can be from anything in the catalogue, but you can also take advantage of the host sets in the host section that are not available for purchase unless you get them in the host pounds. So that's this set and it's lovely at this time of year because it's Mother's Day. Not just Mother's Day, but mainly I think a lot of these bend to Mother's Day. And the card I'm going to be making today is this card here. It is dried rock solid. I put a lot of glue on it because I wanted to make sure that it's stuck <laughs> because there's a few pieces of card. And what I've done, I don't know if you can see, I've made these into 3D as well. So I'm going to show you how to do that and how to build it all together. So the paper that I've used is this lovely lipstick paper that is from the Sweet. Sweet. <laughs> the Sweet Sweet. Um, let me just grab that for you. It's towards the front. There it is. How sweet it is. And it's this designer series paper here and it's this one which has the bubblegum machine on the background. So I've cut that down. It's nine and a half centimetres that way. Let me grab my ruler. I'm pretty sure it was just under seven centimetres. Yep, nine and a half centimetres and seven centimetres. And then I have a piece of lovely lipstick that is also nine and a half centimetres but is seven and a half centimetres, so you can just get that edge in on both sides, okay? If you're working in inches, it would all be different because you have different size paper. So what I've done is this is an A4 sheet, and I've cut it in half, and then I've scored it in half. The crumb cake, I've taken down half a centimetre, or... or an eighth of an inch, that's it. And then the one inside, I've took down a full centimetre or a quarter of an inch. Okay, and then, then this mounts onto that, so you can try and work it out there if you're from America, because I know you have different size cardstock. Right, so what we're gonna do is I've got my crumb cake piece, and I have got these squares of Whisper White. So it's nine and a half centimetres across and anything bigger than seven centimetres will fit right. I'm not going to trim this down, I'm, I'm just going to go with it. That's my Tombow. I'll glue that down. Okay. You could use snail for this because our Whisper White is not our thin whisper white, or our normal whisper white, as I should say, is um, is not quite as heavy as the base white. There are two whisper whites in our catalogue: the thick whisper white, which is the one I use for my base. So that's this one, and then you've got the normal whisper white, which is this one. And there is a difference. This one is about double as thick as this one. So the light one I use for stamping and the thick one I use for my base. So I'm not sure I've put that one completely straight, but it's straight for me. And then I've used the Stampin' Up Black Journal in pen. And I've started off in both corners and I've put the corner in. And then I have just run a dash along it. I haven't bothered about it all being the same width or length. Just, just adding detail on it. 
I know that I won't see the bottom of mine, so I'm just going all the way down to the bottom, but I'm not going to run across the bottom because you won't see it. Okay, while I've got my Thin Whisper White out, I'm just going to take this stamp set here, which is the Happy Mother's Day stamp set, ink it up. I'm actually really only looking to ink up the top part of this stamp set because I'm going to cut this out. Okay. And then I'm going to come along with my scissors and cut that away because I don't want that. It is a bit of a waste. If I'd have stamped the whole thing, I could have cut this out for there, but I'm going to do that a bit later. And it's just a very loose frame that you're going to be giving the stamp. This one's the easiest out of them to cut out, but this one's not too bad either if you wanted to exchange the images you were using. I have seen that some people have cut the stamps. Um, I haven't because I, I think you can stamp around. So they've cut the sentiments off them to create two different stamps. I haven't done that. I quite like them together because if I wanted to use them together, they're there. And it's not too hard for me just to cut round on the actual paper. There we go. That's roughly that. So I'm just going to bring my blends in. I have done so much work with blends this month. I'm loving them. And they're four, $4.25 each, I think, or $8.50 for the two. So you don't save any money by buying two, but it's always handy to have the two. And I think they're such a great investment just to add one to your order at $4.25. And they just give you... So many possibilities with your stamps. I mean, I like my watercolour pencils. I do like my watercolour pencils. But these are a lot more vibrant and they pop. And to be honest, they're quicker. It is easier for me to get my blends out. I'm just going to put my lid on my memento. Um, it's a lot easier for me to get my blends out than the watercolours pencils. a lot easier for me to do that because they're actually always on my desk in a I have a little narrow shoe box that I put them in and they're always there I also find I've used a lot of um, lovely lipstick with kits from the new occasions catalogue I think it's because it is so bright and so spring summery after Christmas that it is quite a Hello, I'm here, colour. So if you're new to blending, the way it works with the alcohol markers is you put the dark colour on and then you feed the white light colour. You'll see better with this one. So this is the bronze and this is the ivory. And if you just... So I'm just going to do that across there. And then I'm going to take the ivory and I'm going to bring you in so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, is that better? I'm going to take the ivory pen. I'm using the bullet just because it is a fine part. There is a um, like a felt tip on the other side, but I'm not using that bit. Okay, so you take, instead of going backwards and forwards, you just go one way and you take the colour from the one side and you take it over. Okay, so when you do it quick, it does look like you're going backwards and forwards. You're not. You're just dragging that colour over like that. Until it's properly blended. 
and that one because I put some dark at the top I'm just dragging that down okay hopefully you could see that quite clearly on there I'm gonna have to remember when I finish doing the plant pot to <laughs> unzoom you I did one the other day and we were zoomed in to like an inch by inch space for the majority of the video so obviously it was no good and then when I got to the bottom I did the bottom bit around this plant as well and it doesn't really have to be neat or tidy with a dark colour because your light colour is going to tidy it up so again you just grab it drag it across And you just want to keep working with this. There's this I'm just going to drag up because you've got the colour at the bottom. And drag it across as well for that little bit there. But there's no right or wrong with how many times you can colour these. Obviously if you rip through the paper you've gone too much. But the more you go the more it just distributes the ink. So that's sort of the bottom. And coming across. And you can use, um, I've done a couple of time lapses that are all with blends. Have a look at them. You can use different colours. So I've used like greens and purples together. And you're able to blend those across as well to make a nice. Okay. You see that? And then you can just use the, this is the colour lifter, if you just use that over it, it just lifts a little bit of colour out, so it just gives it, I like to use it on the lighter bits, so it just gives it just a slight bit more texture. You can use this on any of the colours and it does just lighten it up so you do have that blended sort of bit with it. What I'm going to do while I've got this is just, no, I'm going to do it at the end. I'll explain to you how to make it all 3D at the end. And let's just go back out again. Okay. Is that enough? Can you see my logo? Yes. I always judge the logo. If you can see the logo, I'm in the right place. <laughs> so what I want to do now, where was I? I know I chatted on for quite a bit. I'm going to bring my card back in. And these two bits and I'm just going to pop some snail on this because it is DSP so it should stick with snail so it's flush with both sides and bring in the ribbon. This is the ribbon from the annual catalogue. It's not from the celebrations or occasions. They do have a lovely lipstick ribbon. It's this one, but it's a lot thicker. I quite like this thin, thin ribbon when you're working with a half card sheet because it doesn't then take up all of the pretty paper. Don't worry about bending over. I'm going to show you a trick that I did on the other card with the bit that's bent over, if it is bent over. So. Oh, what you know, I've gone and done it flat now. I can never get them flat. What you need to do if it does twist, and this does twist, put the twist to the back. Then get your glue dots in and stick two glue dots, one on that bit and one on that bit, and then cut the twist out. And it will still lie flat for you. I can't show you because I've tied it perfectly, which I wasn't expecting to do because I can never do that. <laughs> Typical. When I come to stick this down, I'm going to use liquid glue just to make it a little bit more movable and manageable. I'm going to pull that up a bit so it's towards the top. Okay, and I'm just going to stick liquid glue underneath where the ribbon is because 
I want to play with the top bit. I want to stick my leaf punch underneath it. So I don't want that bit to be glued. I've put extra glue down the bottom so it definitely does stick even though I'm not putting any at the top. Don't want to risk it coming off. So line it up with the white so it's a complete sheet like that. Stick that down. Right, you need some spare um, crumb cake and some spare lovely lipstick now. And you want the punch, which is the leaf punch. And I cut two of each colour out. I think I'm being a little bit ginger with this. I had a spare spare cube. <laughs> Get the most for your money. Right, there's another one. Can I get a fawn at that? Oh, it's not going to work for me on this one. There we go. Then what I've done with these is I have just put a little bit of liquid glue onto one of the leaves, the top one, of each colour. Started about there and I've just stuck it down. Right, that those two I'm just gonna save for later. I'm gonna stick this one down. To stick this one down, I've put some glue on the top here and on the bottom, as well as on the back of here. So I know it sticks right. Bring it down a bit further so you can see the leaves. You can eye this up yourself as to if you're in the right position or not. And then I want the stamp again. Scrap piece of Whisper White, Whisper White there. And I've just grabbed this bit, which is a bit of Whisper White that I've, I've ruined by stamping too much on. Because just in case I don't get it the right bit. I'm going to stamp this off before stamping it on because I've just re-inked my memento and look at it it's very inky my happy blurs all into one word so now I'm just gonna stamp that down happy mother's day normally you wouldn't get that good of impression if you stamped off um, I've only got it because I have just re-inked that pad. Okay. I'm going to do it again and just put some glue onto both of those. Crumb cake one first and I've made it so that that crumb cake leaf sticks over and that one sticks over that so you've just got some dimension on it see and then I'm going to need some more lovely lipstick cardstock let me just grab some Oh no, I'm into a whole new sheet. I haven't got any more scraps. Didn't time that very well, did I? If you notice, I haven't gone all the way to the edge with the glue. I will show you why. Don't push it down. Just let it sit on there loosely. Be 
because we're going to intertwine it with the picture. So I'm just going to slot that in the middle and the leaves. There's a leaf there, intertwine it with that one. And with that one, like that. And then I'm just going to come in with the glue at the top. If I can get any out and stick that down. Take your base, fold it and burnish it if you've got the burnisher. Bone folder, I don't know it's called a bone folder, I have no idea where I put it. So I'm just going to use my block to make that straight and again get the Tombow out. get that stuck. I'm going to zoom back in again because I want to show you what I did to the plant to give it some extra dimension. Okay, so let's just zoom in. I used the fine tip glue pen, so that's this one. I very rarely use this to glue anything. I seem to add a lot of dimension with it. So what you want to do is you just want to release, oh, you don't want to bubble. Release the glue out as if you were colouring it. Hopefully you can see that. I've just got another bubble there. So you could do with a paper piercer or your nail if you've got long nails and just pop the bubbles because they will dry in a bubble and you won't then be able to get the full effect and I did the plant and the leaves and I also did the top of the plant pot so this bit here hopefully you can see the glossy effect that that's given it but it also means that when it dries you can run your hand over it and you can feel it bobble it's a really nice coating. I didn't do the rest of the plant pot because I wanted some textured difference. But that's how I got that sort of effect on the plants. Let's just take you back out. And there we go. Thank you ever so much for joining me. It's a gorgeous set and I'll see you again soon. If you want to look at any of the host options or anything like that, just let me know or head over to my website www.slimandstylish.com. See you soon. Bye.